the final journey of the late chief Wanjiaku Joseph Emenike Alas Okajos, who hailed from Urunaba Nsukwa Batete in Idemili North local government area of Anambra State, commenced with his remains leaving Christiana Atrufusi Mortuary to his compound for lying in state. <laughs> Parishioners of Holy Trinity Anglican Church Abatete were present in his compound for church service. Friends, families and well-wishers all gathered to pay their last respect to a man who made his mark in the sands of time. The late chief Wajaku Joseph Emenike passed on at the age of 92 years. <laughs> Any attempt to take away life is a futile effort. 
Ibe ne ngozo, be me yaso. Ijo kamaka, that is what we are preaching. But more important thing is to you want to make sure that your name is written in the book of uh, life. Minisoya. Ano mo ay zera ha ka ano mo ay ka buro mo ay jisine kemaran ko ba? Mando kale, mando nubu. Kung ka buro na forro kama, ano mo ay kisya buro siya ba? Kung pa buro ni gay buro na, kudo na mamiya na mga buro tayo. Aya buro gin, kaya kaya ni ni juwe josia, okay wala tara ha odega. Kami ng mga tara ha sa kama na. Wala si na kung ano yung mga Thank you. Some of the children and grandchildren of the late chief Emenike shared their experiences with their late father and described him as a man of passion, integrity, loving and kind-hearted father. I'm Sikwali Ikemadu up till then. I work for all no kwa chuku gozie with the ogono gondu. My name is Anomura Arone Madigano de Kasekwa. Odre okwa iko, wode aika ya no ku. All the discipline, all the numonyana. Oko chie gate ya. We dare not go out. When you offer, you know, I want you to be on a discipline high. It's seven o'clock. If I take a bit, it was on a moment. So it was always well. Yeah, bye. The father left a very good legacy for us because uh, he trained us and he asked us to follow a particular path that leads to greater, greater skill. And uh, how will I describe it? He made us understand to work hard, and that what, when you work hard, it pays. It pays to work hard. So that's one of the legacies that he left. Father is a, a very good person. He likes uh, peace. So that is one of the things that he left for us to understand that life is, a, is too short, and we have to uh, live it the way. That when we go, people will respect us for what, who we are. It's not just uh, money or whatever. Oh, I had a good relationship with him. He's one person that when you wrong him, he will tell you off immediately. And uh, he's also quick to forgive and uh, if you apologize. It's a very loving man, but he stands against injustice. In this village, they know him for injustice. If you fight somebody because you think you are bigger than him or richer than him, my father-in-law will sue you to court on that person's behalf. That's what he's known for. He fights for the oppressed. Nice, caring man. I can remember any time he come, he always asks of school and everything. He always asks of my other siblings that are not around. He's such a nice man that like, cares about his family, his children, his grandchildren, everybody around him. Uh, he's a strict man. He's uh, quite uh, disciplined. He likes, uh, he likes all the grandchildren. They normally come around every Christmas to, to talk to him and they be with him. A, a, a kind man. He gave us advices. Sometimes he scolded us. Ha! 
I'm gonna go 
Chief Wajako Joseph Emenike was married to the late Patience Emenike and the late Gladys Emenike with their marriage blessed with 10 illustrious children of which Chief Emeka Emenike Okosisi Abatete is among as well as many grandchildren. As the family celebrates his life and praise for internal race, they still look forward to a great future of living out the legacies of their late dad who will forever be in their hearts. Thank <laughs> you.